We do have the UI setup, a basic one, like the one which we did before, and also the ant is installed. So let's try to get this component working. So what I will do is I will just call it directly date picker and let's see what happens. So I go to my screen. All right, so I see some date and oops, I don't see the CSS loading, I guess. So there's, this is one really funny thing which I found and there's a workaround to this and the thing is that you will need to manually import the CSS. So where do you import CSS? You will be importing CSS at this place. You need to make sure that you import it before your custom CSS. Otherwise, it will this CSS will overwrite your custom CSS. Let me show you both ways. What do I have it here? Is it is supposed to load and it's compiling all right so I see the CSS being loaded that's perfect and you see the background that's great let's do one thing let's put this after the custom CSS and check what happens okay it's compiling it's compiled and see the background is gone this is because we are loading the custom CSS before and CSS and CSS as background must be having background white and that's why it is changing the body background so let's do the previous one and all right this should work pretty well okay so there are a couple of components which we will be using and those components are the first one is input so in the form let's see what do we have here all right so I don't think we really want to use form we can just simply use input because we don't want too much so the first one would be the basic input or I don't think we really need a basic input we just need number one so we will use this one okay let's see the code import and I think we have the date picker set up already so we will just use it and input number is there I will need to put in input number and on change is supposed to be there and let's see what do they have in the document function on change min max default value on change perfect so we will have we will name it up slightly differently so we will have on flight number chain so it's specific to this all right so changed to this default we don't really need it but let's see if we have the placeholder Fly, or we can just have example two four three three one one okay let's see if this works and for the carriers we will need one which I showed before and that is in select okay perfect this is something what we want so let's see the code it is pretty straightforward options right we put in select we need to have options To select let's see if this works and this is how it is I guess okay op option not options okay and we will need the whole bunch from this 
So let's do this. We'll just hard code, uh, code it for the time being. On change, we don't have it. We might want it on focus, on blur. We really don't want it right now. On search, okay, we might keep it. So, or do we want to do on search? I'm not sure, but yeah, let's just keep on change right now. And options is option. E Y T. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Q Qatar one is, but Emirates Etihad. I'm not sure about the spelling, but Qatar. Okay. Function on. We can even use the arrow function one, but. Yeah, that's fine. On flight, on carrier change. Console dot log. Hmm. We might take something. Let's see what do we get here. Value, and let's even put in value val change all right so let's see what do we get okay let's check it out all right so we have three things select a person see how okay it's working emirates all right so filter is working good this is working good as well. We have the placeholder and select. Perfect. So everything is working right now. So we will just style it like sideways like we had in the image before. And yeah, some basic UI stuff. I'll be doing it. And okay, so let's see you in the next video with the styles. Take care. Bye.